episode of Talk with Rhea. I'm your host Rhea and today on the episode we're going to be talking with Zulu Madingo. Chat. Chat. We have a celebrity designer entrepreneur here. So, Zulu Madingo, kindly introduce yourself to our guest. Hello, okay. oh, salon people then. Salon Bobo. Can I say hi right to you guys now. and salam alaikum. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. And good evening on any side of the world you did the watch me. And I want to say welcome to my sister Ria. They call today just boss parade. <laughs> you know, and everyone tell you, just say, oh, so you did that, just can't track it on. That's what they normally do anyway. Exactly. But that's good. I want to say hi to you guys. Mm -hmm. Say peace and love you, man. Thank you so much. So, indeed, I just boss Pana because it just got around and I say, take this opportunity for get him on the show. And we did. Thank you for honoring the invitation. <laughs> so, so our brother, you can see his green, white, and blue. Salon Bobo. Exactly. <laughs> so, Zulu, can you just tell us a bit about yourself, your real name, and where you got the Zulu Madingo from? The real name now, Mohamed Lamini Yafa, mm. and the Zulu Madingo, a company that was established 2018 back then. And the meaning of Zulu mean warrior because there are people that fight for what they want and at the end of the day they achieve what they want. Mm -hmm. You know, and the Madingo is my tribe. It doesn't mean but the whole brand is Zulu Madingo is an African brand. It don't base on any region or tribe or what so. Mm -hmm. It's just one Africa we say represents the Zulu Madingo. Okay, that's great. So you're an entrepreneur. What problem did you see that made you say I'm going to solve this problem? You know, like um, when you're a, when you are born in business, mm. because since I was a child, my childhood, like from my parents, mm. they are business people, so I grew up in business. Mm. So that kind of feeling started since I was a baby coming up. Okay. You know, so I decided, like, you know what? Even though I read applied accounting, that's my major in university. You understand? But I decided that in the future, God bless me with my capital. I'm going to start my own business. So that's the thing that prompted me and then when I travel out of Freetown then there's a lot of opportunity that I tap into in China. So I decided, you know what, I think my dream has become reality because yeah. when you met with the right opportunity, you are in the right place, the right time, yeah. you just have to tap into it. Mm. So that's the reason why I decided to tap into to, to the opportunity that I have now in my hands. I said, okay, you know what, let me just go into business so that I can be a motivator. Yeah. to other young people or young entrepreneurs that are coming up. Okay. So that's the reason why I said, okay, business is good for me because I like money, <laughs> you understand? Because if you only you say you want to concentrate on your salary that you are earning because I used to work before and all, but that was not enough. Mm. And if you want to live a luxury lifestyle, you only have to go into business mm. and all. So that's the reason why I decided to go into business as an entrepreneur. So the Zulu Madingo brand, what is it all about? Like what? Well, now comprise? the Zulu Madingo is not only the brand. Now it's a group of companies okay. that comprises of mm. different different activities. Mm. We have the clothing line. We have on agriculture. We have on constructions. We have different things that we offer at Zulu Madingo. Okay. You know. All right. That's that's um that's great. So you are based in China currently and. Because your business is also running back home. Yeah. So what are the challenges you face being that you're away mm -hmm. from your motherland, where and you know that's where also you, because you're always representing Sierra Leone. Yeah. So, um, what are the challenges that you face because you're far away and mm -hmm. your business is there, and you're also here trying to also get the stuff you need for business back home? What are the challenges? Well, you face? one of the challenges that I face back home, like um. There's always like long time. I always like to tell my Sarayunian people there is a thing that we call ownership. Mm. You know, for Sarayunian, some people when you delegate responsibility to them, they don't take that delegation seriously because it's not their home. Yeah. So the last time I was trying to like teach few people on my Facebook, mm. like how to take responsibility, how to manage mm. somebody else's businesses. You understand? Yeah. But if a, if Sarayunians they can able to have that thing, that mentality of ownership. Even if the business is not your business, but let me handle this business properly with care, even in absentia of the person. Because at the end of the day, if somebody trusts you to give you his or her business to manage your own, 
you should take the full responsibility to manage that business properly. Yeah. I think few Sidonians lack that quality when it comes to ownership to manage somebody's business because one trust, if I can remember vividly, like last year or so, 2020 or 2019, yeah. I sent a lot of goods back home. You know, the people that are running my business from here to here, all of a sudden, we just, I have different stories that they break into my store, they stole my goods, a lot of money that's involved, you know. So, like, that one is a turn off, yeah. you understand? And uh, I'm a, with that kind of situation, if you're outside, not that we don't have side unions that don't want to do business, they want to do business, but the problem is trust. Who am I going to trust? Who am I going to enhance my business to? That will be, okay, let me take the responsibility to manage and control this business it only takes the grace of God, and then secondly, another challenge is that we are I'm facing. Mm. You understand? Sirenians out there don't patronize with Sirenians that are outside that are doing very well when it comes to business. Mm. You understand? Because like one of the things I'm trying to encourage Sirenians now, let them appreciate what they have. Let them appreciate their own. You get for like you, yeah. because if you're not like you, at the end of the day, nobody not go like her for you. And they say charity begins at home. You understand? That's the reason why, like, I'm happy before one or two of our president launched the local content policy, True. like to try to promote local content products mm -hmm. or local content creator from Sirenians that are doing very well outside. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, but that's a big challenge. But if I pass the message, I will say, still let let them do, don't give up as an entrepreneur. Let's keep on pushing. Mm -hmm. We we'll definitely will reach at the goal. Yeah, you know? yeah because, like you mentioned, the aspect of trust wearing. Um, people lack the ownership and it's difficult because even for other people who want to go into business they're worried like who can I give yes. um, so it's good that you're also teaching people because um, it's a mindset issue so yeah. their mindset has changed that okay even though it's not my business I mm -hmm. can run it like it's mine it's mm -hmm. not just for me to just get something fast and just yeah. leave but let me um, you know build it not just about me it's yeah. also about the country and you know um, people to come so that's really um, great what you what you're doing so um, you're into the clothing line as well um, mm -hmm. besides the other things that the business is about mm -hmm. uh, what um, there's another issue of you know we have a lot of you know the green white and blue brands yeah. and all mm -hmm. so what makes your brand and you know your own you know, ZM different from the other clothing brands that also deal with the green, white, and blue colors. Yes, um, as for Zulu Madingo, like when you say you want to do a brand, when you want to start a clothing line, mm. there are basic factors or basic ideas that you should know about before jumping. Mm. Say, I want to become a designer. Mm. First of all, a, a lot of people that are doing clothing brands, I don't mean no disrespect. When you ask them, for example, like which kind of material you're using, like now this material that I'm using mm. to produce this my hood is right. Mm. The texture, I know the texture, I know the quality. This is cotton, mm. and the GSM that I used to produce this one is 350 GSM. Okay. Even yourself, you can feel it. Yeah. See the texture, very thick, thick right? Yeah. And now we are in winter. I can put this on. I can go outside, feel comfortable. Mm. You know, but when you ask somebody, you cannot say I'm a brand designer or I'm a brand owner. Mm. You cannot even able to define what do you mean by I'm a brand owner. Don't say I'm a brand owner, just, okay, I'm being clothing, just go outside, hire somebody to do for you your production. You yourself, you should be a creator. Mm. Because for me, my own gifts, a lot of my friends that are doing brands also, yeah. they can testify to that, you know. Like, I can create my own design for myself mm. and come up with different styles, mm. you understand. And also, Zulu Madingo, the quality mm. is paramount to us, you understand, and delivery mm. services that we offer to our clients. That makes us outstanding among others. Mm -hmm. You understand? But for others, they are doing well. I appreciate them, and we are all trying to promote each other. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, quality is most important in the services that you render to your customer. That makes us outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Um, that um, that's really great because, like you said, you know the texture, the type of fabric, the 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 um <laughs> the weight and everything, yeah, which is important. That's yeah, Jason. Yeah, uh, Jason. Thank you. So. All of uh, um, all of that, you're fully involved. Yeah. Like you're there, you see what's going on, you get to say no and yes, which is good. So for somebody who's about to start um, a clothing line, what what would you tell them? Like, what's your advice for them? First of all, to start a clothing to start a clothing line or to start a brand, mm. the first thing first you should you should know you should be about. 
there is going to be challenges. Yeah. And those challenges, one is acceptance in the market mm. for the people first to accept your product, mm. for the people to appreciate. Mm. And then second, the quality. Mm. Because if you produce very good quality, because a lot of young entrepreneurs, what well, they focus on when they want to start business, they count the profit. Mm. You don't anticipate profits, you earn it, you wait, you see the profit. You understand? But most people say, oh, I want to start this business, but they just focus on what they are having. They don't think about the services that they will be rendering to the customers. You understand? Yeah. And you cannot just jump into clothing. Example, I want to become a clothing. Then you don't have any ideas about materials. You don't know anything about the market. You just go, for example, you see whiskey, the example, right? Or the video. Put on something. Then you go and do prototype of that thing. I don't call you a designer because you cannot create anything for yourself. You are not a designer. We just call you a copycat. You understand mm -hmm. but if you want to become a designer you should be mentally prepared ready to be creating your own design let's say even if you don't know anything about computer or graphics mm -hmm. but you can able to sketch something you bring up ideas mm -hmm. take to professionals that know how to design the stuff mm -hmm. then we advise you secondly you need to have capital to start clothing business it's not market fish market that you see i will start with 500 or 200 mm -hmm. it involves a lot of money because for the side we have presently yeah. if you want to do production it involves a lot when I started this my clothing brand, like I mean, before back, the first production that I did that I sent to Freetown is 3,000 pieces that involves a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Because the place that I found myself in China here, you cannot produce 100, 200. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. Mm -hmm. You understand? So if you want to, if you are how they are, just prepare your mind. Start first locally. Mm -hmm. When you start locally, we have a lot of people that know how to design things back home. They can advise you how to go about it because for me i'm free if you want to ask for advice you can contact me on all my social media handles i can give advices how to go about it and then also we we are going to open our own factory in china here for the first time yeah. we are working on it and that's our next project by next year yeah. because like we too as an africans we are trying to see how best we can able to 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 to, to, to produce more quality and to encourage more african young designers that are coming up yeah. to be doing their work directly to our factories yeah. so like i have one of my partner from cameroon yeah. also is a designer is a fashion designer franco palo yeah. we work together yeah. because you to try to like see how best we can able to team up to have this factory by next year latest by the ending of chinese new year yeah. or the start of chinese yeah. new year you know we are working towards that you know, so for Sirenians that are out there that want to start small, at least that's a big opportunity for you guys. Like to contact us, try to contact the Zulu Madingo, ZM Zulu Madingo on Facebook or contact us plus 861-8664-85503 or on Instagram, Zulu Madingo underscore official. Mm -hmm. So if you are out there, you want to start like small because for China, you cannot produce small quantity. Mm -hmm. But we are trying to encourage them, like for you want to start with 250, that's MOQ for cab, for t-shirt, 250 and the 250 moq mm. we can do maybe like two colors for you mm. you understand but you know we have them but at least i'm encouraging them let them just try and see how best they can able to raise little capital before they jump into clothing brand mm. but it's not an easy something but the good thing is it's profitable if you know how to go about it mm. oh, that's great and one thing that i really admire about you is that you always wear your brand yes. which is very important because um that's very easy it's easy for people to know mm -hmm. like oh they will see it and be like oh mm -hmm. my god where did you get this from and you just easily tell them uh it's my brand yeah. and you can get it so what will you tell to people who mm -hmm. usually just want to maybe sign mm -hmm. it's good to have brand ambassadors no mm -hmm. doubt but people have businesses but they don't seem to really uh -huh. wear what they uh, 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 they produce or uh -huh. maybe they don't really talk about it people uh -huh. don't get to know uh -huh. about it what would you tell people starting like okay as a business owner you should do this and this so that you have more visibility uh -huh. for your, your your brand okay the first thing for Simon i just mentioned just now is the thing that we call like when you start something the love of what you are doing when you have the love of what you are doing you can able to extend to grow i cannot be producing my brand you understand then i start wearing another brand it's not possible because the first thing first i have to sell my idea to the world i have to sell what i'm producing as you see now from head to toe my brand even my sneakers is my brand you understand 
Like for example, the Louis Vuitton, the Gucci, they started like us. For me, before I started branding, I read all those articles, how they started. Mm. They don't just start like from, from the ground, they just go up. No. You understand? You have to sell yourself. You have to market your product. Mm. Like two days back, I was in another city in China. I put on my brand. A lot of foreign people, they saw me with my brands. Oh, it looks nice. It's good. It's good. The quality is good. The texture. Mm. Some of them make other. So that's how you have to like trying to see how you can able to market yourself. Mm -hmm. If you don't market your product, nobody can market your product for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm encouraging you out there that are starting your own brand. No matter how it is, no matter how the quality looks like, just try to love what you are doing. Mm -hmm. You cannot just say, that's the reason why I say, if you say you want to do business, then you don't love the thing you're doing, you're not going to succeed. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not going to succeed. You have to love what you are doing. And if you love what you are doing at the end of the day, the sky, you are there. Okay. Um, um, that's really, really great. So let's say somebody calls you up and be like, oh, Zuluma Dingo, I have um, this thing I've designed and I have, let's say, 1,000 RMB. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a lot mm -hmm. of people back home, for them, when you say this is 1,000, mm -hmm. they'll think, oh, that means I can get lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. And for us here, that's not the reality because... You don't just enter into a place and tell them, oh, I want this quantity, mm -hmm. I have 500. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. So what will you tell someone that call you up from Syria and be like, oh, bro, tell them I have 2.5 million mm -hmm. deals and I want to have these pieces. So can, I, can I get started? Mm -hmm. What can you do? Okay, for them? the good thing about Zulu Madingo, like we are open to cooperation with customers or clients outside. Mm -hmm. One of the good things, Customers can attest to that because I have customers in US, Malaysia, different parts of the world. Like they will call me, oh, I want to start with this quantity. But I design a package. We have a special package. We are in and try to encourage young business people that want to start their business. Like this, for example. Example, let's say you have $500 mm. you want to start, right? You tell me, okay, I want this. There's a minimum MOK I will give to you, which is 100 piece. Mm. The 100 pieces that I'm, I will give you, I will give you at a very good price. We are you can able to sell those products and generate more money and then reinvest it again. Mm. So for ZM, we are open to that kind of business for any young entrepreneurs or young business people that want to grow. Mm. If you want to grow, just come to Zulu Madingo. We can help you develop, we can help you grow. Even besides that, another thing I open again for people, if you know you have a guarantor in Freetown, mm. when we send our product, all we need from you, just come and pay 50%. When you pay 50%, we we'll supply you. When we supply you, you sell and then you bring back our money. Okay. You understand? Because a lot of businesses don't have that kind of facilities yeah. to give to customers. Because what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to encourage young people that are doing businesses, young entrepreneurs that are doing businesses, for them also to grow. Yeah. If we like all of us that are doing clothing or doing businesses, say, oh no, we're going to stick on one thing, other people will not grow. So you have to create that platform. Yeah. Even this side, they will tell you, okay, bring this. You have to establish what to call a good business relationship. Mm. So if you are out there, you have 1,000, you have 2,000, you want to start doing business with us, we are ready. Just contact us. Mm. You mentioned about people mm. who want to start and you have a special package yeah. for them. Do they need to bring anything aside the money? You mentioned a guarantor as well. Yes. Do they need to bring anything like a business plan or something if you're going to... Um, help them with getting started no for like in that area you don't need to bring your business plans mm. right all you need to do for us if you want to do business with us you have your capital mm. we just need a guarantor because okay. for our company we have our legal system we have our legal person mm. that is an all Zulu, Zulu Madingo legal aspect okay. so if you want to do business we have our contract form that will sign with you then you bring the money you pay the 50 percent deposit that will supply the product on the specific time that you should pay back and all because if you fail why like i don't bring relationship in business when it comes to business it's business mm -hmm. i don't compromise that two things right mm -hmm. so if you said for example we supply our product you're going to pay at this specific time you should pay if you breach the contract you pay for the damages or the losses okay. so we are encouraging you out there that's why if you have your little capital just come and buy what your capital can give you okay and all. all right so um are you open to partnerships with people and what if somebody really um in a case where maybe someone does not have any capital but they want to sell your products back in syria or any other country 
um, you know, a seller wants to sell your product but does not have money, um, what system do you have in place in order for you to be like, um, should I say, a retailer? Are you a retailer of your? your you can brand? be. You can be a retailer. There's a service also that we're providing for people that does not have capital mm. to sell our products. You run on the commission basis. We okay. are. You can go out there, get a client for us. You bring okay. the client. We'll give you a specific price. Example, let's say this product is going for 200,000 euros. Okay. We can give you for like 150. Mm. You understand? But when you go out to sell to the client, you tell the, the client that I'm selling this product for 200,000. Mm. But we know that you are the one that are coming with the business to us. Mm -hmm. Then we know that we're already giving you this price for 150,000 euros. So you already are making 50,000 profit extra. You understand? Mm. So that one is a good thing. There is also for, we have a, a platform for that. So if you are half there, you are watching us. Go to our office, Seven Mercy Lane Client Town. Contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or on our contact number will be displayed on our social media. Just reach us. We have facility. Even if you have capital, you don't have capital. We will work with you as an agent. Okay. You know, yeah. um, that's um, that's really great. So um, the world, um, the African Nations Cup is coming up, yeah. and of course, we we're going to Cameroon, yeah. and your brand. Um, it's all about the green, white, and blue. Yeah. So, do you have any special jerseys out that people will have to know because maybe some of us already <laughs> know, but not everybody will know. So, you have to tell the guests down there that yes, we do have something, and you know, definitely, okay. definitely. We at Zulu Malin will take our time to come up with five different national colors, classic designs. Mm that we're going to use for the 2022 20, AFCOM in Cameroon. Mm. We also have uh, another Igalia the car. Okay. Then of course for our ladies, your stay tuned. We will have something very classy, very sexy. You know that one we release, you know how we do our thing normally when we want to release thing now. We know we talk with style, oh. you know. So we have new stuff and we, they will be out next month, December. Okay. That's no. really great because we have to rock our green, white and blue as we're going for the match next year yeah. um so your business um has been going on and it's going quite well we see what you're doing um on social media and we love how you really promote your business which is something good we all can learn from that you have to love your brand like you yeah. mentioned that you know so what are your you know the goals that you want to see um to attain for the zm brand well i'm um like let's say next year we are moving towards another new project mm. you know i told you like we only concentrate on clothing but um, we also like have another sub branches in different african countries like south africa okay. Botswana, nigeria also we just open another new office that i do cooperation with one of nigeria from a national team and um, player which is uwanko kano junior brother Obuna okay. kano yes is my major partner in nigeria then we also open our new office this year to next year in Liberia. Okay. You know, so that's our new project that we are working on. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, our official website will be launched next year. Mm -hmm. Where you can find all our products, okay. you know, which is the African Culture Continental Market. Mm -hmm. Where you can able to reach out and get all what you want for the brand or all other products you can source on the African Culture Continental Market. It's also a company that's registered. And African Forest Continental Market works as Alibaba as well. We just try to be like to mediate between customers and suppliers and try to see how we can able to promote local content made in Africa, not only Sahel but made in Africa. Okay, that's good and congratulations on all of this and, you just and, mentioned. And, and, and. It's actually very inspiring that you are making such a difference, and it's great to see the push because. Um, it's easy for you know us to just be like, oh, that's too difficult, and let's just leave it and do yeah. the normal everyday nine yeah. to five job. So it's great to see um, what you are you are you are doing. So yeah. for somebody that's back home watching and is thinking of starting a business in, mm -hmm. in China, um, what are you going to tell them? Like, what's your your advice? Like, what really you want them to know and understand about? doing business um in china and entrepreneur entrepreneur in china um my advice for people back home that want to start a business in china first thing first you need to consider one of the factors you need to have a capital to start business in china 
two, you need to know the kind of product that you want to get yourself involved in. And you need to know the business of itself because you cannot say you want to start a business, then you don't have an idea about what you want to do. Because you know, like we have people in our country, they have their money, but they yeah. just like to follow people. Because for example, you see this person, they buy bread, mm -hmm. you say one for buy bread. Yeah. But you don't know if they ask you what are the content yeah. or the things they're willing to use for put the bread together. You know, able to know, you understand, yeah. you don't know. So that's the thing you need to really, really understand exactly what you want to go into. Starting business in China, the thing you should get in mind, you first thing first think about quantity. Because for China, they don't have small quantity. Mm -hmm. Some factory they ask for thousands. And if you have your money, you want to start small. Yes, it's possible. We don't discourage you, it's not possible. But if you're able to take the risk, because like for example, you can have one thousand, two thousand dollar. You said you want to buy products in China. Okay, let's say you buy the product for one thousand dollar. But what about the shipping cost? Mm. It's another factor again. Yeah. You understand? You use one thousand dollar, then when you go home, you spend like two thousand dollar to clear the thing, customer and clearance, everything. Mm. Then at the end of the day, how much will you sell that product? And for example, if that product somebody else from Ceylon is bringing that product again back home in a very large quantity, maybe you want to sell the graft in water for one thousand euros. Then somebody is selling for three hundred euros. They really buy plenty. So you find out say it's a loss. That's why you need to know what you want to do. Study the market first before you ever decide, oh, I want to jump in doing business to China. Mm -hmm. Or look for people or ask for advices out there mm -hmm. that people who know about business, they can advise you, okay, you will do this, you will make profits, you will do this, you will make profits. For us, we give business advices, you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. If you need business advices, because we don't only do our clothing line, we also render services for customers out there. We have our logistic company in client town, table messaging, because by next year we are working on how we can able to do air freighting for MCOs for customer goods to be sent to free town, not only free town but to different African countries. Mm -hmm. We are working on that because for during this COVID period, it's not been easy True. for customers. You know, we all know it's challenging for even us that are doing shipping and also like the shipping price for the container, sometimes the ship delay, True. and sometimes some of our customers they don't have the understanding, they'll just think that. Oh, you have done something with my goods, my yeah. goods is not coming, mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. You will be explaining to them. But some of them, you know, like salon people, for example, love rumors. Mm -hmm. Oh, me, Paddy say, I buy in China, my own goods don't come, my own goods don't come. That doesn't work like that. Yeah, true. Everybody, you have different way how you get your container. You have different shippers. Mm -hmm. You understand? And if every day container price rise in China, mm -hmm. maybe the time we want to send container price rise. And if you are doing groupage, because that's another thing I want to educate my people that are doing shipping. You cannot just buy stuff from China and expect the goods to arrive in free town. But before, we just say for 45 days approximately, maybe, sometimes you do more than that. Because for our country, it's a small country. Mm -hmm. And we don't have a lot of people that buy a lot of stuff to send back home. Yeah. And if I'm doing groupage, if my container is not full, I cannot send the goods back home. I have to yeah. wait until I have goods to put inside this container yeah. and send home. Like example, for 40 feet container, is 68 CBM. And 28 tonnage. If I can, I cannot take a whole 700 to 1,000 cartoon tires, put inside 40 feet container, and send the empty container. It's not possible. Mm. We have to have other goods that will fill the container with small quantity of tires that will sum up the 28 ton mm. and 68 cbm. Yeah. But a lot of customers do not have that know-how. They just think that oh, you buy this thing all of a sudden, it should be automatic. It should not be automatic mm. because there's the challenges. And then, if you overload the container in China here. We are going to pay the consequences because definitely you're going to find out and most times they confiscate the container. Mm. So if you are out there that are thinking now because of this period of time, you think that when I ship my goods, my goods will arrive automatically. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah. There's a delay because we don't have even transshipment from China to Freetown for now. Mm. We don't have. So people out there, you need to patience, you need to contact your shipper, try to see how best you can have a better understanding. Not that they, they have your goods and they keep your goods here, they don't want to send your goods. Not like that. Mm -hmm. Because if you go to most warehouses, you find a lot of goods inside the warehouses. But because of the method of sending the goods back home, it's a problem. Mm -hmm. and all. Oh, wow. That's really educating because a lot of people don't know. Yeah. And I've also learned that today because um, it's usually difficult to explain that. Yeah. Oh, we can't just, the, the shipper can just send. Yeah, your you cannot, yeah, you cannot just send your few boxes without to, having their proper yeah. kg. Yeah, so um, that's very good um, that you've clarified that so that we'll all learn about this. 
So what's your final word to our viewers? The Salon people then. I'd encourage everybody out there and the African people then for let we try to see how best we can able to support our own, learn to support African products, learn to promote well. If you don't promote what you have, definitely the sky will not be our limit. We need you guys. Just continue to follow the Zulu Madingo. It's a, it's a group of company now that comprises of different, different, different varieties of services that we offer to our clients. If you have any doubts, you have any questions, you want to ask us, you can contact us, Sebo Meselin. You will get all our details on our screen, on our social media pages. So if you are out there as a young entrepreneur, just keep up going, keep the fire burning, don't give up. Try to see how best you can able to keep the spirit. And then also for our graduates that are watching me, don't sit and wait for government to bring job on your table. Go out there and start small and try to learn a particular skills because I believe that everyone is blessed with a talent. You understand? Even though some of us we have our degree, but we have something that we learned, which is practical skills. For me, I can customize sneakers. I have a lot of things that I can do by myself. So if you are out there, I want to say, bless up, brace up yourself. Don't discourage. We say no to depression. We say no to violence. Let's just focus on what you want to do. And at the end of the day, the sky will be your limit. I want to say thanks to you guys and thanks to Ria. God bless you. And we pray for see this thing for grow more and more and more and more. Amen. So we say bye bye. Ta ta. <laughs> Thanks for having me once more, Ria. You're most welcome. God bless. Yeah. Fine salon titi. Except for the same <laughs> products, so you don't know product, so you get them. Okay. You know. So that's it, guys, from us. And thanks to you, Zulu Mandingo, for joining us today. So as we always say this is talk with Ria. keep it real keep moving and at the end of the day you'll achieve your goal which you're moving towards so following page on our following page following page on our following page exactly following. thank you don't forget follow to and follow like, like and, subscribe. and share subscribe, subscribe. yes exactly uh -huh. thank you so much and so guys that's it from us today to the next episode Bye. Ta -ta. Ta -ta.